Uh, hello game programmers uh, So you are in a, a playlist uh, of game uh, C++ programming uh, using Direct2D so and that's uh, the third video in the first video uh, We have seen how to create a project for C++ game so we change some properties uh, of uh, of the project and in the second video, uh, we have seen the the W in main. Uh, so the, the W in main entry point function, and we have explained each parameter of these four parameters. And in this video, uh, we will cover the window class and the creating of the window. So. The window class W and the uh, class and register class. So we create our class and we register it, and then we create our window. So let's go to this chapter here. Uh, the window class is used to specify the attributes of our window class. In other words, the window class specifies how our window looks and behaves. Uh, so what does that mean? That means before we create our window, we specify uh, our window with using W and D class data structure. Okay, so we specify our parameters, and then we register our class. Okay. W and D class is data structure has 10 arguments, but in our tutorial, we will cover just the four important attributes for our game. So, so let's, let's first declare our window class. Uh, or let's copy all of them and then we'll uh, explain them one by one. Uh, <clears throat> so here we have uh, excuse me just to be clear let's let's just uh, see this the this data structure in the documentation of Microsoft just to be clear here Excuse me. So data st uh, this structure contains the window class attributes that are registered by register class function. So that's our uh, data structure. So we'll just see for the four important uh, parameters or arguments. So the first one is is this the window proc which usually called the window proc okay so we will uh, we will explain this that's an important one we will explain it when we cover the message uh, the window message handling okay so but let's just see it's uh, in the documentation here so long pointer to window procedure we must use the call window proc function to call the window procedure so for uh, for more inf uh, information see the window proc so we will cover it later this this argument here okay uh, so this argument here uh, the each instance each instance is here is the the is the instance is the is the executable identifier and the class name so before we create our our cl window class so this is of the type lpw uh, str so we declare it here uh, i name it by my window and then i make my class window name equal this string here Okay. 
and here that's the edge cursor which is the default uh, I make it the default uh, cursor of the window of the windows okay so of course you can download this code you will find the link in the descriptions below to download the whole uh, the whole code but now here you see that there is uh, an error here uh, so why we, we see this this error here uh, so we won't go deeply through the attributes uh, window proc but uh, l let's just say it is a callback to the window messages uh, so to avoid compiling errors uh, just add this function to your program for now so we will explain it later so let's let's add this function just to avoid this error here okay let's uh here we have this error because that's a callback function but we don't have this this function is not uh, declared yet so let's declare it uh, so now we don't have uh any error okay so that now we have our window class that's our window procedure uh function and that's our class name which is its name is my window and the default cursor is IDC arrow which is this one here you see the default windows uh, cursor and the, each instance is the executable identifier of our program and then we register we call the this function to tell the operating system to register our class okay uh, next the creating the window we create our window using we create window ex now we just use the function create window ex to create the window okay so let's create our window and So now our window is uh, is each WND. So we call this function which return a window. Okay, the type is a handle to window. For me, I, I just want to declare this uh, this pointer globally. Okay, so let's just declare it here and we initialize it by null and here i make my window hwnd so that's my my window i will that's my window that holds the whole game okay hwnd i call this function so of course you can search for this if you want more information about create window ax so exa that's an extension of create window ax i use ex okay uh, so that's the the function it return a handle to window and those are the the explanation of each attribute okay so no problem for me so that's the extended style of the window the class name so the, here that's the imp important to to understand okay here i say that when i when i declare my window and i fill these attributes and i link my window with this name so how to say that this window is belongs to this window class so here the name of this window class is my window and here i say that this this window name is my window that's how i link so the, the window class and uh, the window class name and the the class name of the window has the same window 
So that's how I link this window to this window class. Okay. Uh, here the window style. There is many uh, window class. I say it's overlapped. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Let's see this. Uh, the, the window style. So let's see it here. So window style, for example, uh, WS with border, caption, it's a uh, child, and that's the description of each one. Uh, so there, here, for example, it's maximized, initially maximized, uh, maximized box, minimize and so on uh, so if you want for example if you want to make to say that for example if i want to say that uh, this is a child and overlapped at the same time i just separate these two parameters by this symbol here okay so you can uh you can concatenate window style by this this symbol here okay uh, here that's the coordinates the coordinates uh, coordinate x of the window and here that's the coordinates y of the window and this is the width of the window uh, and this is the height of the window so this is the link to the parent window so sometimes Sometimes yeah, when you program with C, uh, you may have a window like this window here. And when you click some, uh, something, another window appears. So this new uh, window appears in the child of the global window. So since this is the, the whole window, so the global window, so we don't have any parent of, of our window. So it's null. Okay. So I don't have any menu for my for my window. So I I let it uh, null. Each instance is this one here, the executable identifier. Uh, that's not not belongs to our tutorial. So I just let it uh, null like that. Okay. So let me just save and compile. So the program exited with code zero. There is no problem in compiling, okay? So, but I don't see any, any window. Why I don't see any window? Because, so here, now to show our window, we just use the function uh, show window, okay? So let's call this function. So you can also, you can search it in Microsoft, uh, this function in Microsoft documentation. We pass to this, to this function, the window, our window, this window, and CMD show, which is this, okay? We have talked about it in the, fir in the, in the second video of this playlist, okay? Uh, so let's compile. So you can see that our window show and gone. Why? Because when I when I ran my program, my program ran and finished. So my window gone. Okay. So let's just use uh, an infinite loop like that while true. So that's my window, okay? Of course, this answer here, that's the, the title of our window. The, I specified it, it here, answer. But here I, I can't do anything with my window. I can't move it, I can't click. It's totally uh, frozen. Why it's totally frozen? 
That's because I don't handle messages, uh, window messages. So what's mean window messages? So, so when I ran, I have, I have a window. So I, I've created my window. So uh, now what I need, so now I need to link my window messages with my, with my window. For example, here, let me just open point. So if that's my screen, if that's my screen here, and that's my window, and that's my mouse, and that's my keyboard. So when I when I click the mouse here, I must say that the user click the mouse and send this message here. Okay. So because because I must I must when I when I click something in my keyboard or my mouse or any external device, I must. Uh, my program want to interact with with these behaviors okay so that's mean that I must handle my messages because that for now my my window is totally frozen okay so in the next video I will see we will see how to handle messages okay in the in the next video of this playlist we will see this chapter here so window messages handling okay uh, so that's it uh, of course you can you can download this this code okay uh, you will find the link in the descriptions below uh, so that's it for now thank you for watching